Now one question is that how can the store animal preserve under the formalin? So now the question is that you are forget uh, some are that cytological agents. So click uh, the remember of this names of the cytological agents which are uses for that uh, tissue processing. Nice. Okay. So today's our lecture is that uh, the names of the cytological agents. Before the starting, please subscribe my channel and click the uh, bell icon so that you can get all the videos in proper period of the time. First of all, we are discussing about the fixative agents names. Fixative agents are the fixatives which are using for that tissue processing mainly first step because we are uh, retain the tissue in that living state condition so that uh, fixative agents is a uh, very very useful what are the fixative agents formaldehyde acetaldehyde and glutaraldehyde and some are the acids like that picric acids acetic acids and osmic acids okay then after dehydrating agents dehydration means that they remove the water molecules from the tissue samples so that uh, all the types of autolysis and putrefactions we can prevent out by the help of dehydration okay or dehydrating agents are that alcohol acetone and dioxin alcohol uh, it is a uh, one type of that uh, helpful for the dehydrating agents why we are using the alcohol because uh, the remove the water molecule and replace by the alcohol okay what are the clearing agents what are the clearing agents and what is the clearing agents understand these terms clearing agents means that the whenever we are using the alcohol as a dehydrating agents uh, the clearing agents they clear the alcoholic uh, composition outer the surface of the tissue so that the clearing agents are the xylene toluene chloroform cedar wood oil and the benzene which are using as a clearing agents right then after one embedding before the embedding we are focusing on that infiltrating process what is the infiltrating process whenever the tissue uh, which is passing through that uh, uh, those steps fixation dehydration then after one clearing and the next step is that infiltration what is the meaning of the infiltration the paraffin wax enters into that uh, tissues inner sides it is called that infiltration okay yani ki paraffin wax jo hai wo inner or jayega tissue ke andar jayega this is called that infiltrating an infiltrating process gives the internal strength of the tissue so that our sectioning process is a very very clear right then after one embedding agents what are the embedding agents now the clear embedding agents are that methyl metha acrylate glycol metha acrylate araldite and epon epon is a very very useful for that electron microscopy okay embedding process which gives the tissue uh, strength in the outer side so that uh, uh, tissue is a very very fragile and uh, very uh, brittle like structure so that uh, it is not having the proper shape and not having the uh, strength so that how can they cut by the help of microdome so that embedding process it gives the strength into the outer surface of the tissue now the last step of that is a sectioning is a by the help of microtome and microtome se hum sectioning kar chuke hai ab hum now the staining agents what are the staining agents the hematoxylene and eosin mostly use are the staining agents and some are the moderns which are using for that uh, stain which is retained by the help of dye so that moderns are very useful ammonium and potassium alums okay uh, why we are using the hematoxylene and eosin and those types of moderns in our uh, electron microscopy as well as a uh, light microscopy uh, uh, we are discussing in this next video lecture
ये वीडियो आपको कैसा लगा प्लीज मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताना और इस वीडियो को लाइक करना मत भूलेगा ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो